Ten for Dinner by Joe Ellen Bogart. Margot invited ten friends for dinner on her birthday. She made ten invitations and drew pictures of dogs and balloons on each one. On the day of the party, five guests came right on time at five o'clock. Two came at 5.10, two came at 5.15, but one guest arrived early at quarter to four. Margot's guests wore their party clothes. Three wore t-shirts and shorts. One guest wore a pink lace dress. Two wore jeans and western shirts. And three wore jogging suits. But one guest wore his Halloween costume. Margot served macaroni and cheese meatballs, carrot and raisin salad, celery sticks, and watermelon. Six guests tried some of everything. Two guests just had meatballs and watermelon. One had macaroni and cheese and celery sticks. And one guest asked for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with olives and sauerkraut. Marco gave her guests colored paper to make hats. Two guests made firefighter helmets. One made a surgeon's cap. One made a pirate hat. Two made cowboy hats. And three made hats for clowns. But one guest made a hat like the Loch Ness Monster. Marco asked her guests what they would like to sing. Two said, home on the range. Three said, row, row, row your boat. Three said, this old man. And one said, itsy bitsy spider. But one guest said, ragtime dragon, his saber tooth tiger. He sang solo. Margot asked her guests what they would like to play. One guest said, tag, jump rope, tag. Tag, tag, arf? And four said, hide and seek. But one guest said, dirty double, no hands, blindfolded marbles. Margot opened her presents. Two guests gave her paperback books. Two gave her fancy socks. One gave her an extra long jump rope. One gave her left-handed scissors, two gave her hats, and one gave her a harmonica. But one guest brought her a big red box with a black bow. Inside was a huge rock with a shell fossil. When the party was over, five guests went home in cars, two rode home on their bikes, and two went on foot but one guest stayed to help with the dishes.